That's not good. And it's something that I bet you a lot of you guys have no idea about. And that's because the thing that came out of his mouth is something that you probably can't find at any dental office anymore. You see, you guys tagged me a thousand times saying, Bentus, what is this thing in this guy's mouth and what can I do about it? Well, this thing is called an amalgam filling. And the reason why you guys probably can't find it at any dental office anymore is because no one really uses these anymore. You see, the story is, is back in the day, we had to find something to fill in these cavities. And what the best we could come up with is a bunch of metals mixed together which we called an amalgam filling. An amalgam filling is consisting of a powdered alloy composed of silver, tin, and copper. But the problem with it is there was one ingredient that caused a lot of concern, and that ingredient was mercury. Yeah, that's right, the same stuff that you find in thermometers or tuna fish or whatever, that is kind of poisonous. And so people freaked out because they found out that amalgam fillings were releasing small bits of mercury into the bloodstream. Now the jury is still out as if this is really a big deal or not, but that being said, the dental community decided to switch away from metal fillings into the newer composite or white fillings. Now this does unfortunately come at a cost because the metal fillings, in fact, I've got quite a few. You can see right here and right here. On the back of my teeth when I was younger, I got a bunch of these. And so these were actually super good fillings. They last a long time and they corrode around the outside causing what we call a corrosion layer, sealing up really, really well so nothing can get back in there and reinfect the tooth. Now, unfortunately, as we switch to the tooth colored fillings, they have different properties. They don't have the corrosion layer. And in fact, they're more susceptible to shrinking and expansion with heat and cold. And so a bunch of the early fillings that we saw expanded and contracted a lot. And when you contract, you create an empty crevice where food and gunk can get in and reinfect the tooth and if it expands during heat it can actually crack and break the tooth in half now luckily we have gotten way better over the past decade at these composite fillings and we have a ton of different ways and even now we're 3d printing fillings so I wouldn't be as worried about it as I would but man boy do I wish we had more of these amalgam fillings because they were worked so well back in the day personally if a dentist sees you have a ton of metal fillings a lot of them will try and get you to just switch out to white fillings I personally wouldn't do that I would do them until they break or you know have a problem like him where they get popped out and then you can replace them with the composite but if you have some silver fillings I would keep on to them as long as possible because those are probably some of the best fillings you can get